The head of the Shia militia, Hezbollah, has stepped up his attacks on the LGBT community. Uh, Hassan Nasrallah was speaking to mark the annual Shia commemoration of Ashura, and he called for gay people to be killed. More in this report. We are not making up battles, nor are we making up dangers. This is a real danger that is imminent and has begun. During the annual Ashura holiday commemoration, Hassan Nasrallah, leader of Lebanon's Hezbollah terror group, launches another attack against the LGBTQ community. In Lebanon, this danger started with some educational institution and NGOs. A few days ago, children's books were published promoting this deviant culture, and it was said, according to the author, that they had the approval of the Lebanese Ministry of Education. Nasrallah has recently called to kill anyone who is a part of the LGBTQ community. Religiously diverse Lebanon is often regarded as one of the Middle East's more liberal countries. The LGBTQ community has long been visible and outspoken, but continues to face systemic social, economic and legal discrimination. Back in 2018, Lebanon's court decriminalized same-sex conduct, saying it's a practice of fundamental rights. However, the law banning same-sex relations remains in place and carries a sentence of up to a year in prison even though it is not well enforced and rarely prosecuted. Last summer, the Lebanese Interior Ministry formed a special forces tasked with clamping down on events promoting sexual perversion, triggering a storm of hate speech and threats from politicians, religious authorities and radical activists. Well, joining us now, Waji Lyon is a Saudi activist for LGBT rights. Uh, great to see you again, uh, Waji. And uh, a, a really worrying and sad story, isn't it? Um, what would you say Nasrallah's comments tell us about the rights or the lack of rights for LGBT people in Lebanon? Because the law itself is somewhat ambiguous, isn't it? Yes, that's correct. Uh, we do have uh, Law 534. Uh, which is part of the Lebanese constitution that does say if a man uh, of a person have sex with the same sex, they would be sentenced between a month to a year in prison and fined around six thousand and six hundred dollars uh, just for that act alone. Uh, also, Lebanon was one of the only Arab countries to ever host the uh, LGBT uh, parade. Uh, before and recent in year, recent years, they have been banned from doing so. Um, of course, this attack has come after a strong fight for our rights. After we have been criminalized and have been demarginalized and systemically attacked by uh, Middle Eastern governments, uh, such as the Lebanese government, and for our fighting, Hassan Nasrallah has claimed that we are uh, just wanting to. Uh, come out and say that uh, we are victims and play the victim card. Meanwhile, he's literally asking for us to be executed and killed in front of the whole world. Uh, so it, it's funny that they want us uh, to actually be executed and they also don't want us to let the world know that we are going to be victims under a uh, country that does not respect any human rights or any LGBT rights like Lebanon. Yes, Lebanon might have some sort of democracy and some sort of representation, but he forgot all of the governmental corruption. He forgot all of the war that they're into, all of the drug uh, abuse that is happening in Lebanon. Health uh, care is, is falling. There is no houses or infrastructure for Lebanese people. They can't even pick up their own trash, and they are attacking innocent people like the LGBT community. I take my hat off to Kaukab Zohan, a drag queen who is facing all this danger in Lebanon just so she can face the community and give some safe spaces for our LGBT community. Because of COVID-19, a lot of uh, okay. queer safe places have closed and now there's only few places that are safe and they're trying to shut those places down. All right. Well, I mean, Waji, um, you mentioned the drag queen there, but I find it's really hard to talk about this uh, in a Lebanese contact without talking about the fantastic rock band Mashwal Leila. Um, the singer said that he actually had to break up his very successful band because of death threats and harassment over his sexuality. That is not surprising. In fact, it is the uh, norm that uh, these types of death threats would uh, come toward uh, 
a, a public figure that is uh, preaching and uh, spreading love. Uh, because uh, what this shows the bankruptcy of the Lebanese uh, policies and political system. It's because when they don't have anything other than uh, their corruption to fix and they don't know how to fix it, they start attacking members of the LGBT community as a way to uh, distract from all the corruption that's happening in their own country. Uh, so I'm not surprised at all. I've received the same types of death threats myself. Do, do you think people fall for it? Now. Do you think people fall for it, Wadi, or can they see past it? Can they see it's just a distraction te technique? When you're talking about Hezbollah, you're talking about people that are in a political religious cult uh, with a large following uh, through different nations and different uh, uh, countries and regardless of where you are, we have seen how people reacted uh, in Poland to how one person is burning the Quran, regardless of where you live. Uh, there is a huge political religious movement that will hunt you down regardless where you live, uh, regardless where you're from, what if you, you disagree or cross their religious uh, Waji, we have to leave it there. I'm afraid we're out of time. It's a very disturbing story. It's great to have uh, your view on it. Thank you.